This is Smyrnium olisatrum. No idea if that's how you say it. It's how I say it. It's Alexander's. And I will do another video on this later in the year because there's some features that get easier and easier to identify as it gets older. But when it's young like this, the stems and even the leaves are just really lovely. They're really useful pot herb and, and something you can use in your cooking. Um, and sometimes as they get older, they can get a bit um, like woody, chewy, tough. So I thought if I show you now, you'll know what it looks like. Um, this tends to grow within a mile or so of the sea, but it's actually making all sorts of inroads into inland places. Um, and I do see it other other areas now. It's got the shiniest leaves, and that's one of its identification features, is just how much the leaves will shine in the sunshine. They're also, this is a, an Apiaceae, um, an Umbellifer, quite different from others. So it's got much broader leaves than a lot of Apiaceae. Um, you can see that kind of like almost split in the leaf that's reminiscent of things like um, uh, ground elder, but this has much more rounded lobed leaves. Um, as it gets older, it has uh, these lovely kind of pockets where the stem attaches to the, the leaf stem attaches to the bigger stem. Um, and they are kind of stripy, pink and white, almost like candy stripe, those pockets. Um, but at this age, it really is a case of just knowing your carrots, as they say. This is carrot family. Um, and knowing what you're looking at and how it looks. Um, the stems are hairless. Oh. Have no spotting and no hairs. They do have a groove running up the top. Um, but yeah, the really shiny leaves, those broad leaves, where it's growing often and the smell. And I wish I could show it to you through my phone screen because the smell is, when you crush it, just really aromatic. Yeah, like really intense, almost like reminiscent of Angelica, if you know what Angelica smells like. It's that end of the, the carrot family smell. And it's gorgeous. And the stems make a great celery substitute as they get a little bit bigger and a little bit older, or you can just chop them up and th throw them in things. I uh, do a really nice... Uh, ferment with stems that I can then use as a kind of side with I did a dish once with bone marrow and uh, and fermented Alexander stems that was lush um, but yeah basically just a really versatile wild herb wild vegetable oh and the seeds as it gets older it has yellow flowers which is quite unusual for an umbellifa and the seeds are a wild spice that's a little like black pepper so it really is fantastic <laughs> 